So now what I'd like to do is show you some other features of using subprograms. Remember that the idea in subprograms is that um, you can break something complicated down into smaller pieces. It can make troubleshooting easier, programming, a wide variety of things. So let's start by going to program elements and basic elements, all right, and putting the start function in. Now, once I do this, um, what I'd like to do is to begin to think about, okay, what do I want my program to do? So we're going to uh, write a program that makes a decision based on what happens initially. All right, so I'm going to start a new subprogram that says color. All right, I'm going to call it what color. All right. Alright, so um, the first thing I want my program to do, my subprogram to do, is to decide what color a block is. Alright, so I'm going to go to subprogram input and output and put an entry in. Alright, and let's go back to main program because um, I'm going to use a little external lighting to help. Um, my uh, color sensor work better. So I'm going to go back to basic elements and I have a light I'm going to connect as an output. Okay, and I've got it in output 8 and I want to turn it on and I want to be sure I give it time to get going so I'm just going to give it a little one second delay. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to move into my um, subprogram. Now, if I look right now, because I've already made one, I have what color available to me. But it's under Loaded Programs, Unnamed 2, which is the name of this program. All right, so when I go to what the tab that's what color, that's my subprogram, I've put an entry in here. Okay, and that entry is where the program is going to enter the subprogram. You have to have an entry and exit available. All right. Now, um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I want to go into an analog sensor. Okay. And that analog sensor is going to be a color sensor. All right. And let's look instead at um, this command. All right. All right, so I have a question mark zero, all right? And for this example, we're just going to um, say that I already know that for blue, um, blue blocks measure greater than 1500 okay all right so it's going to come in and I need an input output okay so do I want the digital or the analog a color sensor is an analog device so I put in the one that's for analog all right and I1 that's where I have it have it connected it's not an NTC resistor I'm going to change it to a color sensor Say okay, it changed it to analog 10 volts, and I'll say okay. All right, now I need to come here and say that I want see it's also updated that that it's analog 10 volts automatically for me, and it's changed M4 to the output mode because I put in output 8. All right, so close that back, and let's do this. So I've got my entry connect this all right and then I want to connect this input all right and I said a blue block is um, greater than 1500 all right so 
I'm going to say 1500 All right. And if it's less than 1500 we'll say it's a red block. And if it's greater than, it's a blue block. All right, so if I go to subprogram, all right, exit, okay, all I want this one to do is decide what color, all right, and depending on which color it is, I want it to call a different subprogram, okay? So I'm going to draw, drop multiple exits in here, okay? And as I connect these, Okay, and I'm going to say equal to, I'm going to tie to the red line. All right now that these are connected, I can drag them away a little bit. All right. Okay, now both of them say exit. So if I go back to my unnamed, look at my loaded programs, you can see that I now have this block and it has what color. There's the entry, exit, exit. Well, that's not really what I want because that's confusing to me when I exit. So what I can do is when I click on the exit, I can right click and I can name it, we said less than or equal to um, 1500 was red. So I can name that red. Okay. And I can name that blue. All right. So now I have an exit that is named red and one that is named blue. So let's go back to basic elements and then let's go back to our main program. All right, so I didn't include this as a subprogram. I could have, um, but now I want to decide what color the block is. All right, and so I want to load the subprogram for that. Now, when I go back, I have what color and I have the entry still labeled. But you can see right here that now I have an E in here and I have what color? And then RE, the first few letters of red, BL, the outputs of blue. So I could make another subprogram and that one would be called red. And then I could make another one that was blue. Okay, and I can continue writing my program from there, but I wanted you to see that I can have multiple exits and I can name them to keep it clear. So I know that you can have um, a great number of exits from a subprogram. I can't think off the top of my head how many that is. Um, I want to be sure you know too, you could have multiple entries. So you could enter a subprogram from a different place. So if I put in another entry block to the subprogram, I'd get another entry. The entries are also renameable. Okay, so when I go here to entry, I can write, say I wanted to call this WC for whatever reason. And say okay, that changes that to WC. You can see below it puts the two letters, it'll show. When I go back to my main program, you see now this is called WC that's red and blue. All right, so I just want you to understand that feature of subprograms.